Hello everyone, it's Deb Blum. I'm the founder of Inside Out Activism and I'm the podcast co-host for the podcast called The Parenting 3.0 Show. And I am here today to talk about something really important. We are all trying to figure out this new way of working from home and perhaps many of you have children at home and it's a range from all ages, from little ones and all the way up through teenagers and beyond. And so this is new for most of us. And the number one thing I want to talk about today is gentleness. We need to be gentle with ourselves and with our children. This is such a big transition. All of it's everything from learning how to work from home. If you already haven't been working from home, but if you have been working home, there's a good chance you haven't been working home with kids home or with your partner home. There's a way that it is so much more complex. I know we've been dealing with things like I've been trying to do Zoom calls and then finding out that my kids are gaming and wondering why the heck my Zoom is all wonky. I was being interviewed the other night and I had to go up and have my son get off of his game. And my um, my husband and I are you know at the same time on Zoom calls and it is complex. It's not an easy thing and the same stuff for our kids too, just a different set of complex issues that they're facing, but they have their own emotions around this. They're struggling with having to be inside and not being, maybe even maybe even physically outside you can be, but not being able to be with their friends. And, and um, this is hard. They're used to being with their friends all day long. And even though it's in school, they're still with their school, their friends. And so this is a huge distancing for them. And it, feels difficult for people and they might not be telling you because they might not exactly know what it is that they're feeling but the first thing is to be gentle with ourselves i see a lot of people putting a lot of pressure on us this is what happens pressure to make sure you make the most of this time and don't just you know don't just like let the time pass you by and you'll look back with regret that you didn't handle it the way you wanted to or you didn't do it the way you wanted. That is a great thing to do. I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. But it is not wonderful when it comes from the outside in. It is not wonderful when you feel pressure. You need to you know, do a spring cleaning, you need to clean up, you should be watching a certain show, you should be reading certain books, you should be learning a new language, learn to play an instrument, you should be connecting with your children. Yes, you should. But you know, like, we need to take the pressure off a little bit. Because first of all, we're just in the beginning of this, it looks like it might be a while, at least a while that we're that our kids aren't in school for many of us and possibly a while that we are um our distancing social distancing and needing to be perhaps sheltered in in our homes we're in california so this is what we're dealing with here this is our reality and so just take a breath even if you didn't get done all of the things that you wish you did get done write them on a list make a list of things and then know that even if tomorrow we get told that we don't have to be in our homes anymore isolated that you now have a list of all the things that you do want to make a priority in your life the ways you want to change this is not your only opportunity so take the pressure off keep a list open up a journal write down the things that you want to be doing ask yourself those questions what is it that i could be doing to maximize my time right now in this in this change in this disruption write it down if you see an idea from somebody who shares on social media write it down but at the end of the day let your ideas come from the inside out follow your inspiration there are some things in life you've just got to do you have to do things like maybe you know maybe it's like cooking or maybe it's um Maybe it's working. Maybe you don't love your job, but you need to do that job so that you can make money. There are some things we must do, but let's look at this and see if we can find a way to follow inspiration during this time. Do you want to take a nap? Then take a nap. If your schedule permits, do that. 
if you if you tend to be beating yourself up over resting because you don't you you think you should be busy and productive all the time this is a great time to explore listening to yourself and seeing do you need some rest time right now take time for yourself to explore and the second thing is to be gentle with your children when they're in grumpy moods give them a little space Bring up a couple of the things. I don't mean dump your feelings on them, but say something like, hey, sometimes it's kind of hard to be cooped up in the house. Are you feeling that too? You know, ask them some questions. Get them to think about some of these things. Ask them questions about how they want to be spending this time. But again, coming from the place of gentleness, we're week one in the United States dealing with this. So allow yourself to take a little time to adjust Allow your kids to take a little time to adjust and be patient and be gentle. Be gentle. Thanks so much. I'll be back again soon.